Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on the CFA Level 1 exam for December 2014. In this presentation, we look at put call parity relationship from reading 60, option markets and contracts. We are making this video in response to somebody's request made on YouTube. The put call parity equation is one of the most fundamental and important results from option theory. Here is the put call parity equation. In this equation, C subscript 0 is the price of a European call option today. X is the strike price of that option. R is the risk free rate. T is the time to expiration of the option. P subscript 0 is the price of the European put option. This put option also has the strike price of X. And finally, S subscript 0 is the price of the underlying stock today. The reason this put call parity equation is so important is that if it is not respected, then we will have arbitrage opportunities. Let's see how that works. Here's an example. The price of a European call option with a strike price of $20 is $5. The price of a European put option with the same strike price is also $5. Suppose the underlying stock is selling for $23. The risk-free rate is 3% and the time to expiration is one year. We have two questions. First, is there an arbitrage opportunity? And second, if there is an arbitrage opportunity, how should that opportunity be exploited? Let's start with the first question. Is there an arbitrage opportunity? For convenience, I'm again copying and pasting that put call parity equation here. From our example, we have C subscript zero, the price of European call option today as $5. The strike price is $20. The risk-free rate is 3%. The time to expiration is one year. The price of European put option is also $5. And we have the price of the underlying stock today as $23. Now, if you plug in the numbers, we get the left side of the put call parity equation as $24 and 4.17. Five cents. The right side of this equation is $28. But clearly, the left side is not equal to the right side. And therefore, since the put call parity equation has not been respected, there must be an arbitrage opportunity. But how do we exploit that opportunity? That's the second question. Well, again, I'm putting the put call parity equation here for convenience. There's only one way to exploit any arbitrage opportunity. And that is we always sell the more expensive portfolio and we always buy the cheaper portfolio. In this case, we saw that the right side was more expensive since it was selling for $28 the right side of the equation is also known as a protective put. It's uh, the put option plus the underlying stock. Now, since we are selling this, we sell the put option and we sell the underlying stock and we get $28. Since the left side of the equation is cheaper, we buy the left side for $24 and 41.75 cents. The left side of the equation is also known as a fiduciary call, which means that we buy the call option and we invest in a pure discount, risk-free bond, which has a face value of $20. We do this so that at options maturity, we get $20 as payoff from the risk-free bond. Now, if we do this strategy, if we sell the productive put and we buy the fiduciary call, we get a cash inflow, which is equal to $3.5825. The 
The interesting thing is, even though we are getting a positive cash inflow today, we will not have any cash outflow at expiration. Now remember, these are all European options. So we are only concerned with cash outflows upon expiration. Now let's see how this arbitrage opportunity works. When the options expire, there's only one of three possibilities. Either the stock price is less than $20, or it is equal to $20, or it is more than $20. This column captures the first two possibilities and this column captures the last possibility. Remember that we own the fiduciary call portfolio and we have sold the productive put portfolio. Let's see what's our cash inflow from our fiduciary call portfolio and what's the cash outflow from the productive put portfolio. Let's start with the scenario where the stock price is less than or equal to $20. In that case, our call option expires worthless. The risk-free bond gives us $20 and therefore our total inflow is $20. What's the outflow from the portfolio that we sold? Well, since the stock price is less than or equal to $20, the stock price is simply what it happens to be. The put option expires in the money and therefore the total cash outflow is also $20. Therefore, if the stock price is less than or equal to $20, we owe nothing. We receive $20 from our portfolio and we pay $20 on the portfolio that we have sold. Let's look at the other possibility where the stock price can be more than $20. In that case, our call option expires in the money. The risk-free bond provides us with $20 and therefore our total inflow is the stock price. What is the cash outflow? In that case, the stock price is simply whatever it happens to be. The put expires worthless and therefore the total cash outflow is simply the stock price. Therefore, when the stock price is more than $20, we receive the stock price from our portfolio. We have to pay out the stock price from the portfolio that we sold, and therefore the total cash outflow is also $0. Remember, when we bought the portfolio, when we bought the fiduciary call and we sold the productive put, we received a cash inflow as shown on the previous slide right here. We received this amount when we entered into the transaction. But as we show here, we owe nothing when the options expire. This is an arbitrage opportunity. We are receiving money upfront, but we owe nothing upon the expiration of the options. The reason this arbitrage opportunity arose is because the put call parity equation was not respected. The fiduciary call portfolio was too cheap and the productive put portfolio was too expensive. Now this brings us to an end to this presentation. We hope you found it useful. Please let us know if you would like us to make a free video on a topic of your choice. If you found the video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching and we wish you the best of luck on the exam. Thank you.